Hello and welcome, my name's Leanne Peart and I'm super excited to have this online training event with you. Just wanted to show you on the webcam that I'm real and I'm here and I'm in my office working and wanting to share this information with you. So let's get started, shall we? So how to become a social media manager in five easy steps is what I'm going to share with you today. Five years from now, I've looked into my crystal ball and I've seen that by 2022, every business owner will have a dedicated social media manager or contractor. So what I mean by that is they'll possibly have an admin or a salesperson or a receptionist, but part of their skill set, if they don't have the budget for a dedicated person, will fit be for them to do their online marketing, whether it be Facebook ads or content creation or just posting content and monitoring reviews online. So this online training is for you if you are interested in a career change. Maybe you're just leaving school and like to get paid for spending all that time on social media like you already are. Maybe you're looking to get started in the social media space because you can see that it is a career that's on the upward. Would like to navigate your own hours and income, so maybe a bit of work-life balance, stay home with the bub. Like to stay home with your family and work the hours that you want to. In business would like to understand social media marketing, you just can't get your head around the whole concept of social media marketing, but you really don't have time to do an online uh, nationally accredited qualification or a diploma. You have a current role in a social media marketing position, but you're really not sure what the hell to do. I have a few students like that. Already, You are already a social media manager and would like some sort of qualification to back your experience. So, I will show you today how to become a social media manager and replace your income or create an income depending on where you are at in your journey. I do ask though for a moment while you're with me that you turn off your mobile phones, shut down that Facebook account, turn off the internet. I'll wait while you go get a notepad and pen and have permission to share with you some pretty amazing things at the end of this webinar. So off you go, I'll just have a drink while you go grab a pen and paper. Great, thanks for coming back. So, let's get started. This question you will want to write down because it will become part of your interview process when you're with a potential client. So one of the biggest questions that I would ask any potential client is what have you been trying in your business to get people engaged? So that'll probably have them think quite in depth. So just write that one down. And during this whole online training, I'm going to share with you more than, more than the five steps and the three secrets so just have that pen and paper ready to write everything down. They'll probably come back and say the top ways to acquire a customer would be through social media posts, through networking, word of mouth, referrals. I always hear word of mouth and social media is word of mouth on steroids. That's one thing that business owners forget. Blog posts, podcasts, email newsletters, social media groups and forums, live videos and video marketing. Not to mention the old yellow pages, uh, True Local, Yelp um, and... I can't think of the other local yellow page books that people use for their computers. But anyway, let's not get stuck on that. The biggest problem with any of those is that they are manual. So the business owner has to physically do this and it's an outbound task. The solution though for you as a social media manager is that these, these businesses need your help and you can automate and attract clients for them, showing them just how much you are worth to their business and some. The great thing about this is you will have an income, you'll be a market, market leading expert, you'll be able to have a lifestyle, you'll be able to travel the world, work from home, you'll have less stress for the business owner so they will absolutely love and adore you. So that will create a lot of loyalty for your customer base. A little bit about me, you can Google me, but let me just share a little bit about my history in social media. I started using social media in 2005. I actually you know, was one of the first real estate agents to have a social media page back then. My business was called Oz National Real Estate and I also had a mortgage brokerage business. I went to a seminar late 2005 and he spoke about blogs and about basically YouTube. So I thought in my wisdom that I would dabble in this online land. I created my own blog 
website and did some really amateurish videos of our properties to upload to realestate.com back then before they actually had the ability to upload video or have video on their listings. Um, and then I also had a social, uh, a Facebook profile for the company Oz National Real Estate. So I dabbled and I was definitely a rookie and um, also running both businesses and doing that at the same time was, was more than a full-time job. But what I did do was ask people as they came in the door or they found a property online, how did they find us? And the general consensus was we saw you everywhere. So I couldn't understand what that meant because we were actually only had one or two properties at any given time to sell. But what happened over the next 10 months was amazing. We were able to generate $500,000 in commission. We grew the business from one person to eight salespeople and we were actually you know, pretty much leaders in our space on the south side of Cairns. I learned from my mistakes from then until now. I continue to use social media marketing for my businesses and I was like a big sponge wanting to absorb everything that I possibly could learn while still running my other businesses. I became a certified social media specialist back in 2009, long before there was any formal qualification or any sort of qualifications here in Australia and I did my certificate through an American company. I'll tell you now that I paid over $1,000 US for that certificate qualification. I then became a certified trainer in business and went on to work with personal trainers all over Australia with their social media marketing and business coaching. I'm extremely passionate about the small to medium business enter enterprise or that, in that sector because they are the backbone of our economy as far as I'm concerned. They're the ones that employ our kids and our grandkids and there's so many opportunities out there for them to get onto this online space and generate even more income. So that's it about me. You can Google the, net, the rest if you'd like. But what I'm covering today is the expert conundrum and if you're not Australian you're probably wondering what conundrum means and I'll share with that with you shortly. How to pick a niche market. Become a practitioner. If you haven't heard of Gary V, I suggest you Google him and listen to his stuff. He talks very much about people out there that are false, that are plastic, that are, they say things like, I can do your social media marketing, but they may not even have a Facebook page. They might, might want to put you on Twitter, but only have 100 followers. So be careful of those plastic social media managers that are out there and hey it's not their fault they've probably been thrown into a job and don't know how to do it hence why we come in along to help you all but make sure that you're a practitioner and how do you become a practitioner which means actually practically do the stuff that you're telling your clients to do walk your talk we're going to look at packaging your and giving you a you know an hourly rate that you're comfortable with and how do you find these clients hmm that's a wee bit interesting Here's a testimony from Chris. I actually did, a, he's a fitness guru. Um, he is a guru now because he has a $39 product that he sells online. But when we were coaching him back in 2011, 11, he had a $39 product that he wanted to get out of um, out to the masses but he didn't want to work face to face as a personal trainer anymore. So after about four months of coaching and we made a few changes, Chris was able to generate $21,316 from Facebook and still is today. He's gone on to buy his house, he's engaged and I believe they've got a bub on the way. So that's just some of the, the success that you can have. Here's Brett, he's still with the company that I used to work with. He and I, well I didn't, but through our coaching and our social media strategies, he was able to generate 40 clients in 12 weeks just from a few tweaks in his social media um, strategy. Here's a few clients that I've worked with that I'm not here to impress you on you, um, you know, that I have that sort of status, but it's more to impress upon you that you can do this too. It is really not that difficult. I to share with you a photo of my son Bradley. He was a non-believer. He's 25 years old and he has a very successful cleaning company called Zenico Cleaning. He has spent, um, what have we got, three years, $15,000 on Yellow Pages and told me that he would, uh, Facebook would never ever work for him. That's not where his target market is. So he was in disarray about, you know, this whole social media marketing mm. thing. Now eventually last year when he opened up his cleaning, a carpet cleaning 
section or sector of his business he took some advice from me and posted one ad so he posted one Facebook ad for $50 and generated $3,000 worth of carpet cleaning for him so now he has a Facebook ad that he turns off and on as he needs more business this one ad that he hasn't changed at all in the past 18 months is still generating him over $1,500 worth of income every single week. And like I said, he just turns the ad on when he's running a bit short of, you know, jobs to do and then turns it off for three or four weeks. So just a little bit of a sharing about Brad and a non-believer and how things can work with him or for him and for you too. A little bit about me, I'm a personal development junkie and social media junkie. Um, I've had the wonderful opportunity to go to Anthony Robbins' Unleash the Power Within. I've walked on fire, went on to do a date with Destiny with Anthony Robbins and Unleash the Power Within where we went to Fiji and jumped off a 50 foot pole which you can see there in the middle. I did uh, T. Harv Eker's uh, Money Mindset in Sydney where we broke an arrow with our throat and down the bottom right hand corner you'll see where we were in Fiji with Tony Robbins and his wife. I've spoken on a number of stages and spoken for and with a number of massive um, you know, corporations around Australia. Now that's just a little bit about me because I believe in walking my talk. I believe that if there's room for improvement I will find out how to do that and then teach it or, or you know share that with my clients and my my students now Tony Robbins and Ku and Ray and a couple of those other amazing people that you may have heard about said that in order to be an expert you have to invent uh, invest 10,000 hours in your profession to become an expert so I did some number crunching I started with uh, social media in 2005 and it's now 2017 so that's 12 years I've been working in this space. If I'm to become an expert it would mean that I have to put at least 2.2 hours every day into my profession and my career. Now I can tell you honestly and I've actually uh, taken these hours quite lightly but I on average spend 5 to 10 hours a day in my profession and not because I don't have a life it's because I actually don't find this occupation as work it's it's a, a passion I read two to three books a month I'm always listening to podcasts I'm watching webinars that are free always making sure that I'm up to date so that I can share that with my clients so what does that mean for me am I an expert I don't know we'll let you decide that so let's have a look at what social media is. If we look at social media, social media is a noun. It means or it is applications and websites that enable users to create and share content or participate in social networking. Okay, you've got that. Create and share content to participate in social networking. If we have a look what social media is for business, Social media marketing refers to the process of gaining website traffic or attention through social media sites. Social media marketing programs usually center on efforts to create content that attracts attention. That's most important. Attracts attention and encourages readers to share it with their social networks. So let's just sit on that for a moment and you might like to write the words down. Attracts attention and encourages readers to share it with their social networks. The role of social media or the reason we use social media is to have a strategy around it to send traffic back to our website. So in order to get them off the platform we're going to spend a lot of time getting them to engage, create amazing content but the end result should be getting them off, the f off these platforms because you don't own those clients. Really you don't know who they are. I've had business owners say to me, oh yes you know Facebook's working really well, I've got 50,000 likes and I'll say to them and what's their names and they'll say I uh, don't know so you need to be able to have some control over your marketing effort and have a maximum return on your investment which means getting them off these sites I have two questions for you one do you have social media accounts yourself I'm sure you have and number two are you able to commit to 20 to 30 minutes per day to running or managing social media accounts to generate leads for your business or getting paid to manage other businesses accounts and if I show you a proven system and plan to follow that would lead lead you to generate new customers for yourself would you be interested 
Would you be interested to generate income? And I'm sure you're probably saying yes right now. But there's a problem and the problem is these six words. The where, the what, the why, the how and the when. And I'll share with you some insights on those today. My mission statement, my personal mission statement is to educate and train the best social media managers nationally and internationally. I want to give you, these managers, the skills, the confidence, the expertise and the knowledge to go forth and share this information to assist business owners in marketing online. I am so passionate about this because where I live I see businesses closing every week and I think and I know in my heart of hearts that if they had some sort of strategy around social media or in the online space they possibly would not have need to shut. Really that's how passionate I am about this. So my mission is to educate a thousand social media managers and I'm hoping that that will be you. Your role is as a social media manager is basically only four steps to attract traffic, to capture leads, to nurture that relationship and convert them into cash for the client if that's what their strategy is. There's three secrets to your success that I'd like to share with you before we get into the real nuts and bolts of the content. The first one is social media is a learnt skill. You can learn this. You will not know everything. I still don't know everything but it's a learnt skill. You do not need to be the expert, that's a fallacy. You need to be one step in front but not the experts. And business owners need you. They may not know that they need you but they do need you. Secret number one. Whoops, that was a bit fast, wasn't it? So there are fundamental skills. You probably have these but there are only four that you really need to have or learn when you become a social media manager. You need to have some sort of marketing um, idea around what marketing is okay you need to be sociable which means you really need to like to talk to people online you need to have some basis for project management so you're able to start and finish and successfully implement the steps in a project management situation um, to be effective and a little bit of technological skills goes um, hand in hand with social media marketing so you need to be computer literate, you need to be able to use a mobile device, possibly be interested in using other software programs too. Some interpersonal skills which you probably already have are communication skills, personality, I know you've got one of those. You need to be able to be responsive, possibly a little bit entrepreneurial, organized, definitely organized. If you're a busy mum you're organized. A strategic thinker hmm, and have a lot of flexibility around your day. The wider skills, if you already worked in this space maybe and you want to actually look at social media marketing, possibly you've been a copywriter in the past or a graphic designer or maybe you still are. Had a little bit of interest in advertising or the ab advertising and public relation platforms. Maybe you're a little bit of an economist and st stats are your thing. Done some search engine optimization or website uh, creation traditional marketing or video editing. All of those are wider skills that you can bring into the space of social media marketing. So does any of that sound like you? I'm sure you've said yes to that question too. Today we're going to create the best social media managers in Australia and the world. I want you to be at the top of your own personal mountain, your personal journey and know that you've done exactly what you're meant to be doing here. Secret number two, let's have a look at an expert. You don't need to be amazing marketer, marketers. You don't need to come up with great ideas, content, Facebook posts. You don't need to understand the insights. You don't need to know all about Facebook and the insights of Twitter cards and Instagram live and Snapchat um, video masks and video marketing, etc., etc., etc. You don't need to know all of it. You will eventually know it all because you will have a thirst and a passion for this uh, career and this, uh, m this space, this online sm space. So eventually you will. But even myself after 12 years, I still don't know everything. Business owners are already too busy. They're probably doing 60 to 80 hours a week and they don't have time or the inclination to read anything about social media marketing or to know what the new, new thing is. That is your job. That is where you become the expert because it's your job to know what's going on. This is a request I had from my workshop that's coming up in a couple of weeks. Now, 
the the message on our Facebook group for our members was can you cover text replacement shortcuts for hashtag collections on the 23rd that are used frequently for phones and tablets I don't have a brass idea of what that means we're doing a Facebook workshop I don't even know that this relates to Facebook so I am going to find out for my student because that is my job she doesn't have the time she doesn't have the inclination and she doesn't even want to she wants to be taught what this is so that's my role as a social media trainer because I don't know it doesn't mean that I don't know my stuff okay but I just thought I'd share with that with you because that's how I work we're already so busy Facebook's so noisy social media marketing you know is a noisy platform so how do we make this happen the business owners secret three let's have a look at a few facts about them 30% of Australian businesses use social media in this in the social media enterprise or uh, businesses there are in Australia there's 2 million businesses there are 19 million active users online 61 of these small to medium enterprises have no staff 28 have staff between 1 and 4 that means there's 1.2 million businesses that need your assistance that's 60% of 2 million if numbers aren't your things stay with me so 1.2 million businesses need your help let's have a look at the first topic we're covering today that's the expert conundrum for those of you that may not be from Australia you're probably wondering what conundrum means so conundrum is creating a I've forgotten the whole definition ah so I'll I'll share that with you in a minute I did do it on the next slide so an expert is is the definition of an expert is this in Australia an X is a has been and a spurt is a drip of water the spelling error there under pressure a conundrum is a complex or perplexing problem with a difficult answer so does that mean we are confusing drips I don't know the secret is that all you need to do is have the insight and the knowledge to be one step in front of your business owners now I'm sure you've all heard about Frank Abigail Abigail he was um, Leonardo DiCaprio played him in the movie catch me if you can he worked as a doctor pilot anyway long story short go watch the movie but I don't want you to be a master of deception I don't want you to be a brilliant forger and I don't want you to have the skill set to claim fame when you don't know what you're talking about okay what I do want you to do is to be one step ahead of your client at all times so the reason the FBI agent couldn't catch him because was because Frank was one step ahead of him every time and when they finally did catch him in an overseas um, school he was actually teaching um, a subject I'm not sure what it was he'd been there for six months and the FBI said to him how can you teach this subject to these students when you don't have any experience and he said I am always one stu one one book or one module or one accreditation whatever you want to call it ahead of the students every term so that's how easy it is for you to become a social media manager so how do you do this look these are two of the best websites that I've always used you know I was using social media before social media manager me media examiner even came online but once they did come online it was like the heavens opened up and were singing to me because they gave me the information that I needed every single time all I needed to do was google it and I found a blog post an audio a podcast or something from social media examiner if you are in this space and you're not looking at social media examiner as a tool to keep your insights and your knowledge up to speed then I strongly suggest that you do that another great platform that I watch is social media today both of these are my first port of call when I need to create a workshop or I need to get the most up-to-date information you need to understand each platform okay so as a social media manager it's your role to understand the platform not know inside and out how that platform works because it changes daily you need to know how to work 
with your clients to get a target market or get them to tell you who that target market is. You need to have some sites to refer to, some place to get some information, a, a library, a resource center, something. You possibly want to look at doing some courses and also some great books. So the, I've read Jab Jab Right Hook by Gary Vee, brilliant book. I'm reading The Expert by um, Branson Russell at the moment, I think that's his name. So yes, you need to be educating yourself at all times. Now, if you really want to blow your client's mind, you only need to ask them three questions. Why, who, and what? And once you've asked them those three questions, they will be begging you to come and do your, their social media marketing. You need to look at step number two is pick a niche. Now that's a niche for you. You can't do what your clients want to do and that's be a social media manager for everybody. It makes it pretty difficult. It's a lot easier for you to create a niche and that niche will be around your target market which is the who. So you need to walk your talk. You need to describe you, who your target market is in under you know two or three sentences and so does your potential client. If you're not really sure what that is just yet, that's okay, but what are you passionate about? Do you have a hobby that you're passionate about? Do you have a set of people that you enjoy being around? This is one of my wonderful clients, Claire. She's um, halfway through our course and she says that your course has given me the confidence and skills to charge what I'm worth. I'm only six months in my role and studies and I've replaced my income. So that's so cool for Claire. I actually um, helped Claire get some work as well and that has come back to me. I always believe that you pay it forward. It's come back to me now because the company that she's working with now want to educate their staff so it looks like we've got four more students from Claire. So going back to your target market, oh, by the way thanks Claire. Going back to your target market, you can't work with everybody. It's too noisy in the social media land to put your posts and your content out there to attract everybody. You need to find out who your ideal client is and this goes for your potential business owners as well. You need to find out what their problems are, what are they looking for, what are the benefits of your product or service, so how can you best serve them. Who is who has your client before you because that will leave a, a, a trace of information for you and how will you know who your ideal client is. I always like to work with this um, and the clients and everyone that I work with has this face like are you serious I can't do this this is too hard how do I find this information and I get 155 different excuses. Let me share with you a secret before you all run away. All you need to do is find out your top five competitors. So as a social media manager, you're going to find your business owner's five top competitors. Ask them who they are. Find their websites, find out their Facebook pages and get their addresses. Go to similarweb.com and alexia.com, put the websites in and you will get a, an absolute target market audience um, description. So you can take the guessing out of it. This works really well if you're competitors have the same industry or type of business as you so no cheating here so go and do that and then you will have what your ideal client looks like for me when I was working with the personal trainers this is what I ended up with I'm a visual person so I actually created this document and uh, this picture in canva.com c-a-n-v-a and I wrote down I only attract this type of client please meet Mike and Jill now I don't know who Mike and Jill are and if that's you um, I just thank you for being my avatar but I have that on my whiteboard so every time I'm creating content I look at these two and go will that suit them am I addressing their problems and their needs and it just makes content creating so much easier so you still want to become a social media manager? I hope so. I love this picture. It says what my friends think I do, what my mum thinks I do, what society thinks I do, what my clients think I do. That's the best one. What I think I do and what I actually do. It's a little bit of fun there. Let's have a look at number three I think we're up to design your sites around your niche and become a practitioner. This is so important. You need to walk your talk. So we're going to have a look at your site. So when I mean your sites, you need to be clear on who your niche is. You've already done that step. You know who you're working with. If you're going to be a social media manager for real estate agents, then your website needs to be absolutely talking to that, we, re, uh, that real estate agent. No one else. You need to have images on there that talk to the real estate agent and your 
profile across your platforms, whichever three you decide to go with, need to depict that as well. So you need to have a Facebook timeline, a YouTube timeline, Twitter timeline that all tells the people as soon as they go there that you work with real estate agents. You need to become a practitioner and what I mean by that is you need to go out and get active on these social media sites and get some real people following you. Go out and seek those real estate agents. Go to LinkedIn and search for real estate agents and connect with them. Find all the real estate agents on Twitter and follow them. Send them a private message. Don't just be generic and start following them. Go and have a look at their profiles and engage and talk to them off the social media platforms. If you have no idea of what your niche would be, here's some ideas for you. You can go after hairdressers, real estate agents, mortgage brokers, visionary businesses or non-profit organizations, there's fitness industries, you might even decide to do training and workshops, I don't know. You could be, um, you know, how to make crochet or um, it could be, yeah, train the trainer, I don't know. But once you have a clear idea, stay with that market. Brand consistency. So if you're not able to create your graphics, if you're not a graphic designer, you can go to websites like Fiverr.com, Upwork and Rev.com. They will all help you with creating your brand. Fiverr.com will do it for five bucks, which is so cheap. You can get a Facebook timeline done there for five dollars. Um, Upwork, you can create some real funky intros and outros for your videos. There's just so many opportunities that on these websites to help you in creating your brand consistency. Great work-life balance. So you need to decide how many hours you want to work. So what's your work-life work life, work life balance? Is it 10 hours, 20 hours, 50 hours? What does that look like for you? So you need to be clear on how many hours you want to work. Then you can create your packages around and the number of clients that you want to work with. So it's just basic sums here. You can have a full-time income on a part-time hours if you choose to. You, there's a low barrier to entry. All you really need is a Facebook account to start and a computer and you're off and running. Your potential income, believe it or not, starts at $55,000. This is for paid social media specialists or managers in the workforce. If you don't believe me, have a look at seek.com. There's 2,973 jobs advertised as of yesterday in Australia, all wanting to pay you anywhere from $45,000 to $100,000 per annum depending on your education. So you need to do some research um, to your competition. So if you're a social media manager in Cairns, then you would research, research all the social media managers in Cairns to see what they're doing and what their niches are, what you want to earn. So you set a figure of $50,000 a year create your packages and then you can work out how many clients you need to pay that wage for you. One of the most important things about creating a niche or going after your target market is can they afford you? There's no point going after a target market of clients that can't afford your packages or your services because at the end of the day as much as we all want to help business owners. We still have to feed our own family and have a lifestyle. So the question you have to ask when you're searching your target market is can they afford to pay me? A few sums here that I want to share with you. I did some research. In Cairns alone there's 12,897 business owners registered on census or on the government website. 1,547 which is 12% of those are using social media effectively and what I mean by effectively is they're probably generating leads and sales. That means there's 11,349 11, people in Cairns, business owners that need your help. Let's just say that they can't afford us for whatever reason. So let's work on 10%, which is 1100 If you were to charge an $800 a month package, you would make $900 thousand dollars. It's a bit of a mind bender isn't it? Now I'm presuming that you probably live in a city that's a bit bigger than Cairns. We've had 160,000 people population here in Cairns. So if you're looking at um, you know bigger populations two and three millions well do the sums it's just going to blow your mind how many business owners need your help. Now I got those stats from our local government websites um, so you can find out too and do the same sort of sums. 
Let's have a look at the types of packages that you can put together. You can charge $800 easy for social media management. That's working on Facebook alone for two postings, postings a day and monitoring it. Now because you are a whiz at what you do, it's not going to take you very long to do two posts on a Facebook account and set up some alerts to let you know when people are chatting. So let's say you had five clients at $800 a month. It's $4,000 income which is $52,000 a year. Very achievable. If you're going to set up accounts, you can charge business owners anywhere from $250 to $800. That's just to set their Facebook page for them or their Twitter account or their LinkedIn. If you want to create a website, which trust me, once you start working with these business owners, they're going to want you to do everything. So they might say, hey, Mary, Leanne, um, I want you to create a WordPress site for me. I, don't, I create my own WordPress sites, but I don't do them for anybody else. However, you can charge $1,200 to $3,000, go to Upwork.com and outsource that for about four dollars to $500. So there's a huge project um, profit there and all you need to do is project manage that, that deal, that, that outsourcing. So somebody says to you, hey Leanne, can you write articles? Oh, well, I can write articles from my own. I don't really want to write your articles. However, I charge $15 to write an article. I can go to fiverr.com and outsource that for $5. Again, you're the expert in getting knowledge for these business owners. They don't have time to outsource their own stuff. You could do a social media strategy which means sit down with a business owner for two to three hours, gaining the information, the insights about their business and putting a plan together that they could implement or give to their staff member. You can charge anywhere from $1,000 to $3,000 for that, depending on your level of experience. Maybe you just want to do an audit for the business owner. He's not sure what to do, he's not sure how to do it and you're just going to do a bit of an audit to see what the competition is doing and where does he fit into that. Maybe you want to create some content. So now the business owner says, I love those fancy quotes. Can we get some quotes done for my business posting content, um, for content for my Facebook page and have my logo on it? You could charge $500 for that to be effected. Um, but you can go to fiverr.com. I did it myself and paid $12 for 500 quotes. So some really big profit margins here. Email marketing newsletters. Every business should be sending some form of touch base with their clients that they already have. Now they don't have time to create the newsletters. They don't have time to put into a database. You could charge a setup fee of anywhere from five to $800 for that service and then charge them a monthly fee to send out a newsletter. Again, you don't need to do this. You can just outsource this to Upwork and get somebody to do it for $25 a month and project manage it. So you can see this is a really lucrative um, business opportunity if you're a freelancer and even if you're working for somebody and that you're getting paid the $55,000 to $60,000 a year, well then you can outsource all this extra stuff that the business owner should be doing. So let's have a look at how you become a great social media manager. As I said, you need to want to. It's, it's a want more than anything. It's a passion. You need to like social media and you need to have the, the, the skills to keep up to date. You need to have some sort of plan in progress. So how do you keep up to date with what's going on? Social media is an art and a science as far as I'm concerned. It's an art because you have to be creative. You have to have some sort of right brain um, functioning there as well as the logics. The, the logic that comes in, the science part is in your insight. So you need to be able to test and measure your postings to work out which posting um, is at the right time is being effective for your business owner. So it can, it looks a wee bit complicated, but again, you just have to be one step in front of your business owner. So is there a need, of, a need for you in this space? Well, of course there is. Just 12% of those using social media effectively are actually getting a return on their investment. Social media management is a demand role. However, most businesses are still struggling to come to terms with what this all looks like. What can you do? We've covered a few of these. You can niche into any one platform. So what I mean by that is becoming a Facebook expert, an Instagram expert, a Snapchat, a blog writer, content creation only. You can look after postings and manage accounts and build audience. You can be self-employed with multiple clients. You can work for a business. You can focus on blogs, copywriting, video creation. You can be a freelancer and set your own rate of pay. 
So how do you find clients? Well, exactly how you're going to do it for your business owners. You're going to start up your own LinkedIn networking. You're going to find real estate agents in LinkedIn or fitness gurus in LinkedIn or whatever your your accountants. Maybe you want to work with accountants. That's a huge industry that needs some help. Um, also, financial advisors need help in this area too. You'll go to Facebook and you'll like your competitors and engage with them because they already have five, six, seven, eight hundred of your potential clients engaging with them. Same with Instagram and Snapchat. You'll go and follow the followers. So if you if you have a, a competitor, you won't follow that competitor on Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter, you'll go and follow their followers because that's potentially your client. You'll get some pretty cool business cards done. You can go to Vista print to start with and get I think it's 500 cards for $25 or something go to networking events start pressing the flesh work out where your niche is hanging out if you go to um, other websites like meetup.com and if you're uh, if you want to be a um, a social media manager for a running group for example well go find the running groups and go hang out with them because that's where you're going to find your clients uh, then you can also do videos and get them onto the front page of Google, which is really easy also. And I show you all that in the course. The most important thing you need to do is be authentic. The most important thing on social media is building your, your true self, showing your personality. People don't want to see the plastic fake ya-ya stuff that you know some of these people are out there doing. You need to be able to complement your business. So for example, I worked for four and a half, five years with the personal training industry. I wouldn't really be able to mark myself as a, a social media expert working with personal trainers if I didn't have any sort of fitness knowledge or background or experience. So that's really important as well. Um, I could work with mortgage brokers because I've done that. I've worked with, I've worked in accounting, retail, hospitality. So there's a number of different places that I could, you know, dip my toe in and, and become an expert. And you will be able to as well. It's just a matter of doing, digging a little bit of deeping, deeper into the soul there and working out what you're passionate about, what you work well with, um, who you work well well with, and um, complementing your business with that that trait I suppose for lack of other words and also make sure you send personal messages so there's nothing worse than getting a request from LinkedIn hi Leanne I want to join your professional network well bugger off hairy legs is what I think and I don't respond straight away because they haven't taken the time to see and and acknowledge who I am or well, the worst one is hey on Twitter Hey, we're, we're social media managers. Let me help you get some social media followers on Twitter. Did you not look at my social media platform on Twitter to see what I do? Like, how insulting is that? So make sure you send personal messages, especially on LinkedIn. If you want to connect with a real estate agent, that's your niche, well, go and find the real estate agent and find something that you can compliment him or her on. They Maybe they got a, an award, maybe they sold their first house. I don't know. Just look at their profile and then drop that into a personal message so that they know that you've taken the time to check them out and that you actually care about connecting. You're not just a number, not just a run on the board. So take some time in doing that. If you have LinkedIn, like I said, send some personal messages like we have mutual connections or I'm really, really impressed with the award you got or great work on that video I saw or that was a great blog article. So just make it personal. It goes so much further. Now, just to change the tempo a little bit, Alice asked the Cheshire Cat, I'm sure you're all familiar with Alice in Wonderland, who was sitting in a tree, what road do I take? The cat asked, where do you want to go? I don't know, Alice answered. Then, said the cat, it really doesn't matter, does it? Now, this is where I was back in 2008 with my social media business. I had coffee with everybody because I didn't know what niche I wanted to work in. I just knew in my heart that business owners needed the information that I had. I knew in my heart that I could help all the business owners. So that's going back to everybody, right? But what I didn't know was that wearing my heart on my sleeve, I would, oh, I don't want to use the word take advantage of, but I would be left out high and dry. So I had coffee with everybody. I had about 10 hours a week spare and I would take that up giving 10 hours of free information. 
So I don't want you to make the same mistake. So don't go into too much deep detail. People will still email me today and ask me for free information. I don't give it because I've invested in my career and my education. If I wanted to go to a lawyer, will he give me free information? No. If I want to go to the doctor to find out what's on my leg, will he give me free information? No. Do you go to Woolworths and say, hey, this bottle of milk says that it will enrich my calcium. I'm going to take it home and try it. And if it works, then I'll give it, I'll come back and pay you. No. So your role as a social media manager in the beginning especially is not to go into too much detail. It's not your job to share everything as much as you want to with that business owner. The next thing is don't disclose all your ideas. If you're anything like me, my brain starts pinging left, right and center with, oh my God, they could do this, they could do that. Don't tell them. If you need to disclose them, have a little notepad and pen and start writing them down. And when the business owner asks you what you're writing it down, you just say, look, I've just come up with some really cool ideas. I'm happy to share them if we go ahead with this contract or with this deal. So that gives them a little bit of information so that they're not, you're not telling them what to do. What happened with me? I told them what to do. They went away and did it and I didn't have any clients to start with. Make sure you listen. So your job is to listen where they're at, their struggles, their problems, their fears again. Ask them loads of questions like, how many leads are you currently getting? Hmm, none. That's interesting. How long have you been using social media for? What? Two years? How many likes do you have on your page? What? Five? How long do you spend on this? What? 20 hours? So what is your strategy? They're going to say, what strategy? And you're going to ask them things like, who is your target client? And they're going to say, everybody. Okay, so it's your job to write down the answers to these questions. If the business owner doesn't know and you haven't been able to finish or close the deal, then I suggest you give them the homework and tell them to come back to you after, the, after they've done their own audit or after they've had a bit of soul searching about what their target market should look like or what their strategy is. Ask them why. Again, they won't know, but you might drop some things, some questions like, oh, aren't you building brand awareness? What about lead generation? Are you using it for traffic, word of mouth marketing? This shows that you know your stuff. And ask them if they've got anything on their website. Are they directing their traffic back to their website? I had a conversation with a lady just recently, a very small business, and she said to me, Leanne, I've spent $10,000 on Facebook ads in the last six months. And I said, where were you sending those people from the ad to? And she looked at me dumbfounded and she said, I don't know. Therein lies the problem. She's spending money on ads, they're clicking on the ad, she's not sending them back to the website, she's not giving them a voucher for free or a 10% discount, she's not capturing their email list, so now she's spent $10,000 and she's got no return on her investment. If she had spent $10,000 and got 100 email um, leads or 100 email addresses, now she knows that every co cost per client is $1,000 and that's the type of lingo or language you have to talk to to your business owners. They get that. The business owner knows the numbers because they're crunching numbers every day with their profit margins in order to stay in business. So you need to ask these sort of questions. Then they look at you and go, yes, you know your stuff. If you're just beginning, you only know a little bit of your stuff because you're only one step in front. However, in our course at the end, I'll share with you how you can know everything. Social Media News is another great website where they give you Australian stats every month. So if you can't baffle them with the questions, baffle them with, I was going to swear then, baffle them with stats. Tell them how many Facebook users there are and Instagram users and Snapchat users. Tell them, you know, the different networks and who's on there. It doesn't take you long to study this and tell them that 97% of females and 97% of um, males are on Facebook. You can even say to them, wow, you have a business in Northern Territory. Yes, well, Facebook is definitely the platform we need to be using. Baffle them with the amount of usage that Australians are on the internet. Baffle them with how many times a day. The average person uses Facebook 14 times a day. Tell them that. They don't know this. Tell them which sites are working well this year and how you, you know, you'd probably want to coach or train them or, or, or manage their Facebook account, then their Instagram account. Show them how they're going to do it. So don't show them, but tell them. 
ask them questions like you know what 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 is your target market what is the unique platform that you're using on does it make sense for your content do you, does your target market spend time there are you competitors on there how much time is it necessary to spend on that platform to have the best impact impact and are you comfortable using it there's no point telling a business owner to use Facebook where they absolutely hate Facebook and they don't want to use it you'll be pushing pushing it up the hill there baby so make sure that they're comfortable using the platform if they're not find one that they are be clear on your platform too and where your target market is hanging out if you're not sure go back to the beginning now let me show you how to get a video on the front page of Google four days ago I wrote a blog called the importance of social media as you can see under the videos tab it's not on the front page but that's one two three four five down it's actually six seven eight nine on the front page four days ago my video is on the videos tab if we go to the actual um, what do you call it let me go back the all tab on Google it's actually there because I did a post from um, Google Plus it's on the front page so you can do this and do this for your client even maybe you could do a, your own video and then go back a few days later and say hey Bob I got your video on the front page of Google do you want to talk he's probably paying three four five six hundred dollars a month for Google AdWords who knows or search engine optimization on his website so let's go back to how we looked at social media in the beginning it is to enable users to create and share content or to participate in social networking your role in business is to attract attention and encourage readers to share it with their social networks okay it's already you're already so busy and I'm gonna make this so much easier for you you can use platforms like Hootsuite, Post Planner, Buffer, Meet Edgar to publish your content for all your business owners giving you the time and the work-life balance that you wanted in the beginning remember if you're interested in a really cool report social media marketing um, industry report comes out every year and you can download a copy of it here so guys I'm sure that you've had a lot of information from this online training if that's right but if you haven't done social media marketing or managing before it can be all a little bit overwhelming I have to agree with you so what can you do about it is it okay that I show you the fast and easy way to make this happen for you tonight is that okay thank you I want to teach you the fast path to your success as a social media manager I want to show you my exact system and course templates that I've been using and my current students are actually using. Are you ready? The Social Media Managers Master, Mastery Course. It is an accredited training with me, my social media specialist company. What's in the course? Everything you need to succeed. Look at this course as being your giant shortcut to your success, your library of ongoing resources. You will have easy to follow training delivered by me. If you're still with me, that means you must like my voice. So that's a good place to start. You can consume this at your own pace. So if you're a busy mum or a busy business owner, you can just go in there and watch half, half an hour or an hour or whatever you have time for. Each model has its own content rich videos, PDFs, downloadable links and resources and books and I give you a step by step exact instructions for you to use for your own business and your clients. Why am I doing this? Well that's my granddaughter and my daughter. That's not her daughter, that's my son's granddaughter. But I'm run off my feet and I can't keep up with my demand and I want to make myself redundant so I can spend more days on the beach with this beautiful little girl. And I really do want your success to be my success. I want social media managers, the best social media managers in Australia to go out there and successfully show business owners how to use this correctly and get rid of these plastic half half educated wannabes that are out there making themselves known as social media managers but don't know jack shit excuse me but they really don't I want you to do it properly one of my clients said to me recently he was a he's done a diploma in digital marketing he said to me Leanne I've learnt more from this course than I did in my diploma so that's great feedback we have face-to-face -face workshops here in Cairns. You're more than welcome to fly up and come to them if you want. Um, however, you can tune in through GoToWebinars. Module 1 is an overview of social media, giving you the understanding and the importance that why you have to get your business owners on board. So that's going to be able to show them exactly how come they need you and where does your, fit, your business fit into the social media marketing. 
Module 2 will look at how to create a social media strategy. This is a pretty intense module, but it's good. You'll have the templates, you'll have videos to show you why the strategy is important, the right way to approach a business owner and how to create the strategy, identifying the why for the business owner, giving them a helping hand with that, how to avoid mistakes of giving away all your secrets like I showed you before you get paid. Module three is how do we create that ideal avatar? The who, where do we find them? How do we research the competition? And how do we create the perfect avatar to attract these clients to our business? Module four is how do we use Facebook? Timeline images, where do we get them? What sizes are they? How do we connect with the competition? How do we fill in all the relevant information on your page? What time do we post? How do we create a Facebook Live? Gosh, I haven't even started talking about videos yet. And a channel, and how do we do Facebook ads? Module five is how do we use Twitter? Strategy, again, the timeline images, connecting with the competitions, getting followers, information on your page, time to post. How do we do Twitter live feed and Periscope, which is very popular? Twitter ads and Twitter cards. How to use LinkedIn? How do we have a strategy around the professional networking platform? How do we write articles and posts and become a guru in this space? How do we search and how do we get found? How do we optimize our account? And how do we be be, how do we get found on LinkedIn? Uh, tongue twister. How do we get number one on Google from our LinkedIn profile? Module seven is video marketing. Timeline images again, the importance of YouTube and your live feeds, creating your channel, keyword, keyword research and titles. That's how to get videos onto the front page of Google. How do we monetize our videos and have ads? Instagram is module eight. Again, timeline, the importance of the live feed. How can you integrate that into your um, social media marketing? Creating a channel, how to have multiple accounts. So for the managers to go in and out of each one of your accounts. Increasing the followers, how to connect with influencers. What are influencers? Instagram ads and funky tools and pics for your content creation. Module nine is Snapchat, why use it? Well, because it's the importance of the intention post, that's why. How do we connect with others when we don't actually have that facility in Snapchat? I'll show you a really good cheat there. How to connect with influencers on Snapchat and again, you know, co how do we repurpose our content and our funky pictures and videos? Module 10 is pin Pinterest, why do we use it? What demographic is on this one? How do we create content and boards? Linking this to your website because Pinterest is the number one resource for selling, so being able to sell things. Content and funky pictures and how to become the most searched on LinkedIn. Module 11 is basic WordPress. So setting up your site, what are themes, what are plugins, what are blogs, how to write the perfect blog and how do we outsource all of this if we want to. Module 12 is email marketing, set up a free site so we don't have to pay for it. How do we integrate this with your website? How do we promote free items and resources and where do we get them from? How to create a newsletter and let's outsource the whole lot as well. Module 13 is content marketing. Why is it so difficult? We'll go into the whole mindset around, you know, creating content and how do you have, or how do you overcome content fatigue? Geez, I know that. I had it last month. How do we repurpose our content so it doesn't become a struggle? Do we create a theme, a calendar, and outsource? So lots of brain dumping and creative ideas there I'll share with you. Our workshops are recorded, like I said, if you can't attend or can't jump on the GoTo meeting, and they're uploaded to your secluded membership area. It's an online e-learning platform, a membership area. We have a Facebook study group where you can hang out with like-minded become a social media managers that are already completed the course or are just starting, and it's all online training. You will always be the first to know. I'll tell you what, right now there's a big secret that I want to share with you. Facebook timeline video covers are coming. You may not be aware of that, you may not have them yet, but watch this space, they are coming. This is where your Facebook timeline image will move. How exciting is that? You heard it here first. Social media is fun and lucrative. Let me show you something. This is from social media today. Social media managers are charging 500 to 2000 per month. Hmm, that's a nice little package. So social media consults are typically charging 150 to 300 per hour. And you can also have work, uh, deliver free workshops and then use them to sell you in your seminar. 
This is what I charge. I love this. People say to me, I want to pick your brains. I always send them to my website and say, well, let, you can pay f to pick my brains. I don't have free coffee anymore. I charge $179 for 75 minutes. They can take on my six-week intensive coaching program or my six-month intensive pro coaching program. So I walk my talk. That's what I charge. I don't do free coffees anymore and I definitely don't give free information out on my emails. I'm sorry. I've spent 12 years educating myself in this space if you don't want to pay for it you don't get it honey <laughs> anyway the social media manager mastery course you're going to receive step-by-step -step instructions on how to implement this strategy right now the great thing about social media mastery is that you'll be able to implement and start getting a return on your investment on your education social media managing mastery is 13 training programs online and they're all listed there again for you the 13 courses will cost you if you come to my workshops $279 each which is a total of $3,861 so here's what you're going to get 13 online modules at $3,861 you're going to get access to the Facebook group and the online support which is valued at $597 you have a total value there of $4,852 now I want to reward you if you're still with me and you're going to get some pretty cool bonuses and some of these bonuses you're going to get aren't even listed here. You're going to learn everything you need to know to be a successful daily media manager. You're going to get the nuts and bolts and avoid the costly mistakes that I made and that will want not waste your time. That's valued at $197. You get to hang out with our social media group and we have a mindset coaching group. You get access and my students already offers biz offer business building tips to each other. You get the most up-to-date information and I always research those hard questions. That's valued at $197. Excuse me. You also get, um, I have a load of interviews from some of the world's best people, the LinkedIn experts and so on. You'll get access to them. This is um, a lovely lady I've done some work for and with, Melissa Robinson. She says, my online learning has put structure around what she already does. I've learned more than I thought I would and I can now work in a more professional place with my clients. Thank you. No, thank you. So can you do this another way? Of course you can. You can go and do a diploma of social media marketing for 4,400, but it will not cover each one of the platforms. So you walk away with some knowledge, but you won't know how to use Facebook or how to use Instagram or Twitter or LinkedIn or YouTube marketing. There are other online courses out there. You can pay up to $997 US for those. Or you could be like me and be a social media rookie doing one course and just researching the internet and taking 12 years to get to your peak. The fact is there is no comparison to what you will pay today. You will not pay that much. So here's what you're going to get again. You're going to get the 12, well actually the 13 modules at 3,800. You're going to get the Facebook group and the email access to me. You're going to get the bonuses. We've got bonus one, the nuts and bolts. Bonus two, the like-minded managers. Bonus three, the um, interviews. All valued at $4,852. Here's why I'm going to give you this amazing off offer. I want you to become a redundant. Whoops. I want your success story to be my story. <clears throat> I'm looking for people to partner around the world so that they, we can make this social media management a, a career that people will look up to and you'll be looked after, pay-wise, I mean. And after today, I'm going to at least double the price of this package. $4,852 is not what you're going to pay today. Are you seated? Are you ready? I am basically going to give this away at $697. If you are interested in becoming a social media market marketer manager, have lifetime access to the upgrades. Look, I did a Facebook workshop six months ago and it's now redundant. So you will always have the up-to-date information. I'm not going anywhere just yet because I haven't reached my thousand but when whilst I'm still in this space you will have the up-to-date information for the lifetime and whoever is my predecessor who might be you who takes over this business then it'll be your role to keep our students up to date so you'll also get my 30-day risk-free trial 100% guaranteed if you buy the course today and you get in there and you don't like it then you just send me an email within 30 days and I will give you back your full money without any questions 
The value today, as I said, is $4,852. It is more value than, you have more content, sorry, than your diploma. You're not going to pay that much. You're going to get this course for $697. All you need to do is click on the tab and take action. If you do need a payment plan, then please email me. I offer three monthly three payments of $233 if that helps your bottom line but you'll still be able to access this and go out and get your clients so please 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 thank you very much from the bottom of my heart if this is something that you're passionate about if this is something that you really want to get your teeth into so to speak and create a business for yourself or go and have the skill set to put on your resume I'm a social media accredited manager then this is the course for you I'll only be doing this again as I said for a short time and then I'll be up um, increasing the, the fee. So look, push the button now and hopefully I'll see you on the other side and you'll be part of our wonderful team. Thanks for joining me here today or tonight or wherever you are in the world. My name's Leanne Peard, social media specialist and trainer. Look forward to seeing you as a practitioner. Ciao for now.